if this election was a referendum on the government's performance in housing, they would be decimated. Because make no mistake about it, they have abdicated their responsibility in relation to the provision of housing for those who require them most. 90,000 people were on the housing, 90,000 applicants were on the housing list when they assumed office. Today, on leaving office, 140,000 applicants are on that list. That's up to 350,000 people. 750 families, homeless, 1,600 children living in emergency accommodation, no progress being made by local authorities, no progress being made by the government providing them with the funds that they need to make that progress. They've been strong on the promise, but they've been very weak on the delivery. They've had eight different announcements about their social housing strategy, yet none delivered. And last week they tried to tell us that 13,000 applicants got keys last year. Factually incorrect, untrue, misconception, disingenuous to the public. Because 8,000 of them were people moving from one social leasing, leasing uh, scheme to another. 2,700 were void units being replaced. 300 is all that was built, 270 of them by social housing agencies, only 28 by local authorities. 10 local authorities built no homes in the last two years. My own local authority in Offaly have only built eight in five years. But more importantly, what do people want now? Fianna Fáil will put forward a policy that will tackle this and tackle it properly and effectively. We put a minister, a senior minister, in charge of driving it. We look at public, public housing, we look at private housing, we look at the rental sector and homelessness specifically with targeted efforts and initiatives to address the situation. In relation to the public sector, we put 5.4 billion over the next five years to provide 45,000 social housing units. We will replace part five, bring it back to 20% where it deserves to be, despite the fact that this government halved it to 10%. In relation to the private sector, we put a social uh, housing development fund in place in order for interest rates to be at a rate where people, developers can borrow and borrow effectively and meaningful finance to deliver housing. At present it's up to 14 to 16 percent. We would hope to get it back to 4 percent with that vehicle. We'd also seek to help uh, those in, in the rental sector. They have to be helped. The rent supplement has to be increased in the short term and the medium term if necessary in order for the market to be corrected. And that has to be done and has to be done as soon as possible. We'll also help first-time buyers. We target initiatives at those two with special savings incentive scheme over three years to a maximum of 10,000 per couple or 5,000 per individual to address the deficiencies that exist in what was put forward by the central bank in relation to the deposit initiative. And we'd also look to see that those who are renting accommodation in this city and others, that, they, that, that their record improving their ability to pay can be recognized in providing a deposit. So they're just some of the initiatives and we would hope that you will read it uh, engage with us and debate those issues with us and I think you will be sure if the referendum was on our performance or our likely performance in housing, we'd win this election.